Hey guys, it's Martin from Yes, I'm a Designer. Let me show you a new feature in Adobe Illustrator CC 2019. So this has to be my favorite new feature in this version. The gradients in the previous versions were already working really well. And we obviously have the gradient mesh option, which I have in this case as well. You can see all of these shapes have gradient meshes on them, which means that if I use the direct selection tool, I can move these nodes around and you can see how the colors are starting to mix differently. Now, this is an amazing feature and I know that a lot of professional illustrators would use it all the time. I do as well. But finally, now we have a new option, which is a new take on creating these type of illustrations. So let me show you this. I'm just going to turn on this other shape that I prepared, which is not a gradient mesh. So this is just a simple shape at this moment. But what we will be doing here is to add the gradient on it. And the way I'm going to do it is by going through the window menu, select gradient that brings us to the gradient panel. And notice that we have the new option here next to the original linear and radial gradient. Now we have also this third category called free form gradient. And that's the new feature. So let me click on that. And as soon as I click on it, it's going to automatically assign a few pinpoints on the gradient. So you can think of these as control points. These control points can be moved around freely and easily. And you can see a live update of how your new gradient is going to look like. I, I just love this feature. It's more similar to the puppet warp that was introduced in the previous version. But now that we can use these pins also for gradients, it's just amazing. And of course, you can add new points as well, as easily as that. And you can move them freely around and you can see how cool effects you can get very quickly. But of course, there's more. So if you want, you can also double click on any of these and switch to a different color. So I can pick something completely different. And then we can also increase the area that it covers. It's called spread, which you can access again by click and dragging this little black point. And then now we can see it has a reach that is less smooth in transition, but it covers a bigger area with that selected color. Another really cool feature is that while you are selecting colors for your gradients, and this actually applies to all types of gradients. Finally, now we have the eyedropper tool as well available. So I can pick a color from another design. So I can check very quickly which color would suit best this part of my gradient. And then I can just leave it at that. So having that feature might seem like a small thing, but again, it's just so much more convenient to work with gradients in general, just by having that option there. Now, if you don't see the nodes or control points on your gradient or freeform gradient, uh, make sure you press G to get back to your gradient tool. And that way you should be able to see them again. But that's still not all, there's more. You can even add control lines instead of points. So just select lines here on the top or from the gradient panel. And then all you have to do is to start drawing. So let me just put my first point down. But before I go any further, I'm going to change the color of this to something like that. And then notice that I will see a rubber band showing the line that is going to be created. So if I click again, there's my new point using again the previous color, which is very smart. But here comes the coolest thing. If I keep drawing with this, it's going to automatically curve this path and each of these color stops will be using my most recent color. So because I created this as a line, that means that the gradient is running along the edge of the shape now. So this is a brilliant feature for shading shapes in, in a much more intuitive way than uh, it used to be with the gradient mesh. So you can see I can select each of these points still and double click on them to change their color. I can, of course, use color swatches or the eyedropper and I can very quickly assign different shading on them like this one as well. I can make a bit darker and immediately it starts to feel that this shape has a bit more depth because this bottom area is darker than the top. 
but of course you can still move these points around and notice how nicely all the other parts of the curve update. So if I move this point around, you can see both neighboring details updating. Again, this behavior on the path actually comes from the curvature tool. So think of this as the curvature tool used within a gradient to define your color stops and the transitions between them. Once again, the freeform gradient is an amazing feature. Make sure you test it out because it's much more intuitive than the gradient mesh and it is just pure fun to work with. And thanks a lot for watching. I hope this was useful. And uh, if you want to find out more about all the new features released in this version for Photoshop, Illustrator and InDesign, make sure you check back on our channel. See you guys in the next one.